Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, no more there. Go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all, I mean, all. I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Ball Stop Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line. But I know a lot of y'all see us on the street and be like, hey, Love what y'all doing. Keep up the good work. How can we support y'all? Should we buy the merch? What should we do? Let me tell you what you need to do. Under each and every video, in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Join our membership. That's how you can support our brand. Because we keep doing this all the time, showing us love, bringing you fire content every day. But don't only hit subscribe. Join our membership. Thank you in advance. Man, check it, man. We down here in H-Town, man, where it all goes down, man. Your boy ECO done pulled up one more again. Man, I got a lot of people that's uh, rocking with me, and it ain't really, really a, 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 a phase of Texas that I won't hit. You know what I'm saying? And and be honest with you, I, I want a medallion. It's on here. I got that Texas piece somewhere. Right, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Check it, man. Hey, man. Quiet money. Dots in the building. Man, what's the deal, man? Welcome to the H, baby. Man, what's <laughs> What's going on, man? Chilling, man. man I hey, hey, listen, man. Hey, hey, man. I'm excited. We about to go down through there, man. We finna talk about, you know, this whole venture, uh, this H Town vibe you got. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Uh, just the music, man. The old soul. Uh, why you trying to take it back to the damn nineties? Yeah. We finna do all that. Let's get it, man. You know what I'm saying? Check it, man. Nah, Let's get real. it, ladies first. Okay, so you born and raised Houston, what part? Born and raised in Houston, Texas, South Park on the South Side. South Side. Yeah, I just reeked the South Side, right? That's just, <laughs> hey. The South Side, the best side. I ain't, you know. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's since like, I ain't been, gonna get in the politics. I've been with the rapping lately. I gotta, you know, I gotta make sure I keep my politics right, man. <laughs> so I love, it. I do love the city though, seriously though. But you know, growing up, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, the South Side. The best, oh, okay. For sure. So, were you born and raised with your mom and dad in the same household? Yeah, my mom and my dad was there. Okay. Home. You know how blessed that is, right? To have your mom and dad in the same household. Oh, for sure. Because yeah. you know, I, I see so many people right there who's like, no, my dad was gone. My mommy's who raised me. Yeah. Now my I had some older people. I got an older brother, so my brother about ten years old. Ten years. So you the baby? Yeah, I'm the baby. Okay, so how old was your mama when she had you? Like thirty five. See, you like me. Yeah. I'm ten and twelve years younger than my brothers. Yeah, like that. So I'm that yeah. So how many of y'all? Just it's your just older brother, two. just two? Yeah, okay. it's just us two. She was trying for a girl. You know that, right? That's probably what it was. <laughs> That's probably what it was. And after you, she's like, uh-uh, I'm not going to do this no more. They say she was going to, my, my T say she, well, my mama, my bad, I talk like I'm from Houston, but my, <laughs> my T like to say she was going to get a tube side when she found out she was pregnant. So oh, wow. A miracle baby. Miracle baby. Okay, so tell me about growing up, having your mom and dad in the same household, because whenever you were... You know, um, going over your friend's house and stuff like that, you didn't see that very often. Right. Um, tell me some lessons that you learned, things that, because, you know, sometimes being able to have both parents in the household, and I'm sure you had some friends in the streets and For stuff sure. like that, and, you know, parents had to pull you out of certain situations. Tell me what was the benefit of having both parents in the household and how they got you out of trouble sometimes. Man, it worked out. It worked out having a mom and a daddy, you know. At that point, and hey, you're right, ain't none of my partners have both. I ain't gonna See? lie to you. We was, I was one of the only ones with mom and pops in the house, but it worked out. You know, you know, you get to play them games. We can holler at mama. She say no. You can take it to take it to your old man. He might switch it up. He might not. But that worked out most for me. You know what I'm saying? Being able to have both of them to try to finesse to get some shit. I mean, who some was stuff the hardest? Like who was the hardest one? Who was the one mean one? I should say. Oh my old man, my old man in the room. He wanted him. He, he ain't coming out the room. <laughs> really? <laughs> so him, you gotta go holler at him in the room. He ain't coming out the room. Wow. Yeah, for so sure. you were scared of him. Growing up, growing up, I mean, yeah, like yeah, growing yeah, up, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. See, boys always scared of their mo uh, their daddies and their mamas. Then they, uh, they uh -huh. mm -mm, couldn't do nothing. So okay, so when did you find a love for music? Well, that's where I'm going to stop the damn interview. You know damn well. <laughs> I leave you alone by trying to find out the nigga from the South Side yeah. and all that. But when you start dealing with the music, it, it touches me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask I the question I can't just ask here. that part. Like, dang, I can't ask nothing about man, the music. None, <laughs> shut it down, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, I want to talk, man, like you really... 
Yo, yo, sound man is really from like I said when we started the the, the early parts of the, like the nineties, bro. The way yeah. you you bring me back to a place where a nigga want to get in the car and go riding and really vibe out to the music, like. Yeah, for sure. And and I appreciate you for that. Now I'm gonna go and give you. I'm gonna give you a chance to dab with the music. Now don't go in there too much. You know this nigga is slick. He gonna know something. He knows if you know the music or not. So let's watch him. Let's go. No, I asked him, I said, so when did you find a love for music? Well, see, How old were you when you first started? But like, yeah, this is what I wanted, you know. Well, shit, we, well, I was young. Like I say, my brother 10 years older than me, mm -hmm. so I kind of had the cheat code, you know So he saying? was listening. He was listening to music. I probably just ran across the room and he was going down and, and stuck was to it. Was he rapping too? He wasn't rapping, but he, he was a big fan, though. Like screw tapes and East Coast, West Coast music, you know what I'm saying? UGK, p -Nim, Cash Money. All that I was on that young. I was ahead of my time on 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 music. Like I, I kind of drew this shit up as a youngster, even though I ain't pressed play on it till I got a little older. But yeah, I kind of drew this. Because shit you up know how it. sometimes you know one thing I know is about in America with the black culture, a lot of young kids are always starting off doing the rap. You know, oh, for sure. as a kid just playing around. Talent shows, be but around. but a lot of them don't feel like okay, this is what I want to do permanently. Because as a kid, yeah. oh, I want to be a a policeman, right. a firefighter, or whatever, lawyer, doctor, whatever. Right. It's never usually I want to be this rapper, right. especially back then. You know, now it becomes more popular. You know what yeah. I mean? So when did you feel like I want to take this serious? Who came to you and be like, man, you got a talent. You need to go ahead and... Well, probably in high school. In high school, we started taking it a little serious. I, I met up with a couple of RP, my home by Pook P. I met him in high school. Me and my boy Rod, he from my neighborhood. We used to go to Word in high school. D word in high school in Sunnyside, Texas out there. But uh, yeah, we met my partner Pooh P when he told me he had a studio and mm -hmm. all that type of shit at the house. We like, oh yeah, we need to come through there. And shit, we pretty much learned how to use it out now. So that was the first, that was the first Pro Tools. First Pro Tools, we learned how to work it. Printed up some CDs. I think we saw about a thousand copies at the school. Wow. House. Yeah. Quiet Money Dot. Quiet Money. Where did, where did name come from? Quiet Money is really, it started off as a click, me and my partners, you know what I'm saying? That was before anybody rapped a word. And, uh, you know, it kind of speak for itself. We were trying to just try to get us some money and stay quiet at the same time. And uh, How'd you get uh, get the name? Though? Why, how you just run off with the name? Oh, the, the All The Way Truth? Uh, Jam and Kiki, man. Okay. And Quiet Money Gangsters with their hands in the air. That's Sunnyside wow. and South Park. We was raised out there. And wow. shit, me and my partners was raised out there. So we like, oh, yeah, that's live. It's thick. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we started running down. with it from now. Not to put it on no paperwork or nothing, but we started calling ourselves that. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Why I'm in the family. You one of them ones, man. Like, when it come down to Kiki, you just mentioned him, you know. I think you on that new you on that new one, ain't you? You oh, on yeah, that, on that How one. you end up on that new that new album like that? You know, I talked to Kiki yesterday. Uh, you know, y'all niggas so Texas, man. Like, like mm -hmm. that, that's probably how it happened. You niggas that real hard. And bro from really from around the corner from me, you know So y'all, how long you been knowing him? I ain't been knowing him that much, but he from around the corner from me and seen me putting in work, you know what I'm saying? And it locked like that. You know, I, I bumped into him a couple of times. I called him for a feature. You know what I'm saying? We met on that. And then, but other than that, he just seen me been putting in that work, man. How Grinding much with do, his music. How much do Kiki mean to Houston? If you ask me, Kiki. shit, he yeah. mean a, a shit. That's, yeah, that's top tier Houston right there, baby. You asking me. But, you know, I'm from, like I said, I'm from Now, I don't even care nothing about that. I want to hear how you really feel, because it really matter. Like, you really a, yeah. you really a student of the music, man. Oh, no, nah, for sure. So, like, you know, tell me, like, like, like when it come down to it, you know, Kiki, for me, I told her we came down here early on, and we hadn't even interviewed Kiki yeah. yet. And she might not remember it, but I told it was a dude on stage at a show. I said, that nigga, man, he sound kind of like Key, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I said, but Key got a sound down here yeah. that really repped this whole thing, man, to me. You know what I'm saying? The too. screw music, like yeah. the, when you see here, I'm dropping that 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 drawback screw yeah. in these songs. Who you hear? The Houston sound. That's it. That's key. That's it on every hook. Every hook they bring <laughs> back, y'all. So real. that's what I'm saying. Like he really, really means something. Cause I rock with the nigga, but he really, really do his thing. Oh no, it's real. Yeah, it's real, man. I've I've been a fan. So I was about eight, nine years old. Oh, the whole screwed up click, but that Kiki, yeah, it hit a little different. And the whole screwed up click different, man. A lot of them, we lost a lot of soldiers, man. For sure. For sure. Like I hear you mention Mo uh, in the music, yeah. man. Like, like how how important is it to keep these people names alive after they come? To gone? me, it's so important because them folks raised me. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't know them, but that music raised me. You know, like shit. 
That's that shit like that. I live by man. On, on my new album, I say jamming "Don't Mess with Texas" was my education. Like it just raised me. It's important to me, man. And all my partners, like niggas, be from Houston. Be like, man, damn, you so Houston, bro. I be like, shit, I don't know. Like I ain't trying to keep Houston alive. I just ain't got no choice. That's how I am. You know what I mean? But wow. you said you're not trying to keep Houston alive. But was Houston going dead? Because Houston. I mean, sound has always been there, and do you right. think it's going anywhere? I think we need to realize what we got, and that's, that's all I do. Like, instead of rapping, like, the hottest artist like that just new. dropped in Atlanta or the hottest artist that just dropped in New York, I just stay rapping like me mm -hmm. or, or like this city, you know what I mean? And it ain't, like, on purpose. I just do me, you know yeah. what I mean? And But it's important to me. Lately, everybody been like, man, you're bringing the sound back. You're bringing it, you know what I'm saying? You're bringing the city back. I respect it. I feel it. But it's just it's really just me doing me and that's the shit. If I'm gonna do it, that's the only way I know how to do it. You know yeah. what I mean? That's the one thing I respect about Houston because I see a lot of artists yeah. sticking to that Houston sound. Yeah. You know, I don't see Houston really because Houston is such a, a culture, a vibe like right. on its own. You can go to other cities and people adopt from other cities, but I don't ever see Houston doing that as much. We do it. That's, they that's, do that's it. That's why it's kind of been feeling like we've been on the low lately. But really? Uh, we do it, but you know what I'm saying? It's I think everybody waking up now, man. We we got you because of you bringing it. I you said it. I you bring it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for sure though, like I'm trying to get that. You know, I'm trying to have that 05 steel tipping run around here, man, where everybody eat. You know what I'm saying? Off being us. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's I, my goal. Because it's important for sure. I think a lot of times, like I said, when I think about just the Houston culture, Houston culture, man, and the way I am, I'm the same way about PMC. I'm always trying to speak his name. I'm always, I'm a fan. Like right, you just said, right. you're a fan. Now, I didn't know him, but, I, you, you know, once you come from a fan perspective with it, man, it's just, you just really just showing love and paying homage, you know. I was there. I was buying, you know, uh, uh, them, them CDs and them yeah. cassette tapes. I bought those, you know what I'm saying? I put money. I put skin in the game, you know what I'm saying? I was here. I remember, you know what I'm saying? So, who more right to do it than a real true fan? So I really speak that that on Pimp a lot because of that and Bun B, you know, yeah. and, you know, a, a lot of stuff I do in Texas standardized around them because they repped it so much. And they that's the thing I had against certain things. That Houston, I got a little jealous back in the day because yeah. I'm like, them niggas the soul Houston, man, that they just pretty much, and they big, and they it's like they the whole state, really. I'm being real. That's the way I real, felt because yeah. it was like, but then when Pimp came, he repped Texas and he yeah. repped that, you know, they had that little street short, they had short Texas. So I was like, man, them niggas really repping the whole, you know, they repping yeah, the whole state, thing, yeah. man. But Houston's culture was so thick. Ain't nobody riding around no swing. Popping trunk, you know this shit was really taking niggas by storm, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas really. It was a time when Houston, to me, really just took the whole. Like it, they could have took over the whole thing at one point. You remember nah, that? For sure. It yeah. with Mike, with Mike Jones and all them niggas the was really that. That about, shit yeah. was serious, bro. And it really was calculated because you had, you had uh, what's the other one name? Uh, you had your boy named Rick, uh, uh, Rick Shop, Rick Shop yeah. uh, You know, you had all this stuff going on, man. At the same time. But Fat Pat had passed away. A lot of people say that you, you know what I'm saying, bring, matter of fact, Trill Talk No Pill Talk, shout out, nigga, you gonna get your shout, shout out. out my <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trill you know, talk, Trill no Talk No Pill Talk. No talk. They, 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 he, he, he wanna always call me talking about you like that nigga reincarnation of Fat Pat the second generation. What's going on with that? How do you feel when people say that? Oh, you know, I love it. I ain't gonna lie, that shit. I, I love it. I got a, I got a song shouting out the Southside Players Pier, Mike G32. And uh, Fat yeah, Pat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I get a lot of comparisons to Fat Pat. Might just be the all the drink bill at the <laughs> ball fade. And you know what I'm saying? And me just talking to Southside Houston talk, man. But I, shit, I love it. I don't got a problem with it at all. You know what I'm saying? I, I love this shit for real. Man, what, what, what was, what's your biggest, the, the song that when you, when, you, when you do that song, it make you feel like, man, it's up? Man, that Southside player, man. When you sang uh, that, when you rapped out, when it's up. Huh? It's up, man, it's up. And I'm always here, no matter where I'm at lately. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't really left outside of Texas. I'm going to hear somebody who know who's going to sing it with me. That's going to get me fired up. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's that's, that's And it's really kind of one of my first songs, but it's it's one of my biggest songs. Me, I, If anybody asks me to 
give me one chance to play one song, I'm gonna play that one. Give me the, give me the verse off. Let, give me some of the, how you was, how you hit that off. Like, give me the speed. Song, yeah, how, how the first verse shit, start off. The walk slow got me fucking with Tris. Just bought a six. Low key, I could have paid my rent. I'm with the shit. Get it in by the pine, but I smoke it by the Vic. You ain't really coming down if you ain't got the bumper kit. I'm just speaking for my side of town. I got it on me when I ride around. I don't say it's lit. I say it's going down. That's the lingo. When they see that glass poking out, they say bingo. Baby got that ass poking out and she bilingual. Used to sell three for tens, nigga, for the Dino. Now I got them sevens going crazy for the C-Note. I feel Man. like wheel dirty red and C-Note from Reroad. Yeah, bust dying. Got a look. Yo, H time, nigga. Don't do it, yeah. nigga. I get that damn. Don't baby get that nah, damn. Them real. damn earphones out of there, nigga. Nah, it can get real. serious up in here, yeah, man. We got that talent man. up in there, man. Texas stand up, man. So what? What's what's the what's the top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Artists Any genre, nationwide. No Any matter. genre, no matter where you go. Uh, Man, I shit, I know it's nationwide. I still gotta put Pat in now. I still gotta put Pat in there. You supposed to if that's who you put feel. Pat in now, man. Uh that jiggle. I fuck with Jay Z early. Niggas thought I was crazy for jamming Jay Z. Oh yeah, yeah. I fuck with that Jay Z early. I can't. Well, lie. you wasn't too early, nigga. Yeah, uh, yeah. You yeah, wasn't back when he was hip to the hop. Then you yeah, too yeah, young, yeah, yeah. nigga. Nah, I, I was, was not. Then. Oh really? Oh yeah. Before, I'm, before, like, before uh, reasonable doubt. Nah, hell no. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stay safe with it and go and go with the pimp, man. Pimp C. You man, I was gonna go end this whole damn. I was gonna end this whole. Damn, I was gonna end this whole nah, I gotta go. I was gonna, I'm baby. done, bro. Like no, nah, man, no, nah, you know. But face too, man. You y'all got, nah, got a lot of y'all got a lot of heat down. From down the street Texas, from man. Come on, man. And not just Texas, man. Even you know when you start going over there to uh, uh, like Memphis and all yeah. that, and man, some man, some niggas out here get down, nah, man. They hard, for outside sure. of outside of Texas, what's the next city that you feel like, man? You know, like they doing their thing, man. And that's that's another thing about me. I listen to everybody, man. I listen to L.A. niggas, Detroit, Memphis, Florida. Detroit speed it up a little bit, don't they? They speed it up, but I like I like how they coming though. They talk that money and the jury and and that serve too. I like the boys. <laughs> I, I fuck with Detroit. Uh, for sure, Memphis though, them Florida boys. I jam everybody though, man. I I want to find a nigga from Temple, Texas. I I, I want to be the first to hear you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, But anybody ripping their section, I want to hear, it, man. I shit, I might not know nothing about it. I want to hear about it. Birmingham. Yeah, yeah, like I love it. So, um, you have a new album called Doctor Dot. Doctor Dot. Where that name come? You feel like you a doctor? What you a doctor in? Doctor Dot, man. What I'm, you a doctor <laughs> in? I'm just saying. What's I'm your making specialty? Hey, if they if they if they need if the game need if the game's sick, we gonna wake them up. Man. Okay. We gonna wake them up. You know what I mean? Rap wise, street wise, whatever. Doctor Dot, call me if you need me. So how many songs you gave them on that album? Fifteen. Fifteen, 15. songs. Wow. Uh, three features on fifteen songs. Who did you feature? Uh, I got Kiki on now. Mm -hmm. uh, I got my boy Big Tony off that now. Wow. And uh, I'm gonna ask you about that nigga, man. And who that's else? my nigga there, man. I ain't know if y'all mess with each other because you know he's Hispanic, ain't he? Yeah, that's my so nigga. So I'm like, is this nigga really rocking with? Cause y'all niggas be jamming. I was like, man, them niggas right there. He got that south. Yeah, nah, he's still south. Do I rock with him? Yeah, Big Tony got yeah, that that's Houston my boy, south. Man. I didn't even know in my mind. I'm saying, why this nigga mess with Big Tony? Yeah, cause that's my, I'm that's about to call him. Matter of fact, you gonna call him for me when you got you. Cause he called me last time he was in Dallas and he wanted to come rock, you know, rock with me because he knows I rock with him because Young Easy put me on him. I already was listening to him but Young Easy put me in the door. Oh, Shout out. Oh, you know what man. I'm saying? And I was like, damn. That's one of you know, I said, I want to talk right to that nigga, man. And he put him on the phone and we didn't link up then but guess where I'm at now? In the city. I'm in the city, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Going down, sure. man. And if I'm in the city, and if I'm doing what Boss Talk supposed to be doing, man, I got to ask you the question. What's that? What's up with Diddy? But hold on, before you <laughs> no, 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 no,
It, what happened? Did you think he ever helped anybody? Helped anybody? Helped anybody. Any, yeah, yeah, he helped them. What, 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 you hear a lot of people coming out trying to say, hey, man, uh, did it, man? We we know what you did. We forgive you. I'm going back. Man, I heard a couple of people saying say there was some consequences came if they helped I don't know how true it is. Like I said, I'm from way down here. But I done heard some people say it comes to consequences. <laughs> Quit mailing. Go back and get me. I don't really Let's make a pull him out, man. I, 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 just, I done jumped all the yeah, way in with that. <laughs> Boasting a diddy over. I, I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm Go watching ahead, like everybody say, else. No, who was the third person on the album? You you mentioned the two people. Oh, my boy, EDF. EDF, my manager. Okay. He mix, record all my music. You know what I'm saying? We got, I got a three-man team. Me, him, and Square Business Media, man. We, okay, I just didn't want to leave that, that person out. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. I appreciate it. I appreciate mm. it. Yeah, you yeah. probably yeah. would have wanted to holler at me. <laughs> I, I just had to think that I punch in the stomach yeah, nah, with that blow. Sure. You did like, that. Cause I'm going to be honest with you. It's everywhere. You can't have an interview without bringing no, up No, but you talking nah, about real, that, though. I, I want I want to know, okay, everybody's seen that video right. that came out. What did you think about the video when you saw that video? First thought. It's the, it's the video looked wild just... First, putting your eyes on it without knowing no back, no back, you know what I'm saying, no background story or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. It looked kind of wild to be real, which I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie. And the shit, evidently, he know it looked wild. He apologized. It looked kind of wild, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially, uh, he, it looked like he kicked out, kicked mom in the butt and everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, yeah, it was kind of wild, you know what I'm saying? But but even with the apology, because the first time when I saw the apology, I was like, because you know when it came out. All the news headlines and all, when you read, you know, the first thing you do is go yeah. to the comments and read everything and whatever. Yeah. And you know that he can't be persecuted for that, prosecuted for that right. because, you know, statue statue so I'm like, is that the reason why he just say, OK, let me come out and talk about it. Let me come out and apologize because of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you got to get in front of it. That's a media thing. Man. Something like that. Popeye. Yeah, you no, get but he didn't it. get it in front of all the other times when Cassie first came out. He never did come out and say nothing. Then nobody see her getting her ass whooped like that. You gotta say you something. You see what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you gotta say something. You gotta say something. Shit, you know. Do you think he was sincere with his um, apology? Because a lot of people was talking some stuff in them comments again. And Do you believe him? She, man, you never know. There's some toxic people out here. People be having relationship problems, man. I believe him, you know what I'm saying? But it should sound crazy. Because he man. said he, he looked crazy. He I, I pray to God that he did. It is true what he's saying that, you know, he did find help. Yeah. Because he said he did go to counseling after that and so forth. And he did find help. Because everybody, if you're a good person, you want to see other people do good. Right, right. No right. matter, we all are human beings. And they always say there's no sin greater than the other. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So you can't really just be, we can judge, but at the same time, you got to give people an allowance to change right, right. and be like, okay, I'm going to try to do better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't mad at him and shit. I mean, you know, I, I'm saying, like I said, I don't know the situation. Yeah, the only person I know is God. Get right, yeah. I ain't mad at him if he had to try to yeah, get right yeah, and he yeah. got right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I respect it, but, you know, different strokes are different folks, but it look crazy, though. Yeah, yeah. I always say everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I hope there's a positive outcome that comes from all of this that somebody can learn some. whether yeah. somebody who might be out here thinking to go beat up on their woman, like, you know what, let me not because... You know, it can get real. It can you know? get real. Let me not do this. Yeah, you need to be doing that. You know, you know what right I mean? Up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -mm. And they said he was drunk. That reason why, but I, that's still not no excuse. Yeah, not at well, all. Well, it is a lot. It did. It, did he? Mm -hmm. it ain't just that he was drunk. You know, we don't want to go there. But it's been a lot of rumors. It, it's it. You know, it, you can't. You know, it's a lot going on. You know, I I always say, man, I, I hate Cassie going through that, man. But if you got to show the picture, you got to show all the pictures, man. They riding around in Bentleys, getting out of helicopter and planes and y'all ain't gonna show them pictures right. but there's a lot going on a lot of arguing back and forth that's what domestic violence is it don't just start at Diddy doing what he did to be honest but I'm sure that's not the there, worst no what I'm telling you is they both on. didn't got out I need to see all of it. I want to unfold yeah. this whole umbrella and see what's going on with it. If you're going to talk about it, talk all the way about it. 2016, that wasn't the only thing that happened. Yeah. There's some more stuff went on before they got to that and, and after they left that. Right. We need to know the whole story. But you're talking about even the helicopters. It shouldn't have happened. But you're talking about the helicopters and all the rides and all the stuff that she, you know, benefited from. I just hope from. him him and her both, Right, you know? but I, that don't warrant, you know, something like that I know that don't warrant it, but I'm just telling you there's a lot going on, man. They ain't just out here de just walking up banging up we know they they had a lot going on i don't know what happened in that house yeah, 
know. We just seeing what the fa- we seeing what the people want us to see. Right. Am I right? That's facts, though. They just let man. How long? Twenty sixteen. They've been at. Where was this videotape at? What is being? Why not? And where are the other ones? Because there's some other ones, and there's some that they were trying to hide. I bet it's some. Maybe might be some politicians oh, yeah, some involved. Tapes. Hell yeah, some politicians involved. You already know. It's some stuff they hiding from know. us right now. They only letting us know. They only boys. letting us know what they want us to know. Ain't that the way it be going down? That's mm-hmm. how it go. Period. Yeah. So I don't be liking that. I don't like the old switcheroo, the flea flicker. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about the music, man. So um, when you think about like like some of the most dopest moments down here, which one was you guys have had so many defining moments down here. Everybody was remember they were headed to the Capitol and yeah, all for that. Sure. Y'all had some defining moments. Let's talk about some of those defining moments that you think about when you think back on the culture of Houston and some of those defining moments. Good and bad. Oh, for sure. Harvey was bad. Harvey one. was bad. Shit. Uh Katrina was even bad, and we it ain't really hit us bad, but it put a change. You know, it made a change to our city. We had to start sharing our city, so you know, it was, that was kind of crazy too. It was a lot of money around here, but uh, yeah, Kappa Beach parties. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, we got famous dates: June 27, screw tapes, certain screw tapes. Uh, with me coming up, shit, even the just my life period, skating rings like we were talking about yes, earlier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rings, do some park. Let's ring. go. You got me the skating ring. You know what well, I'm did saying? Did you you go to do some park? No, I ain't go to do some park. It was that's on the wrong side of the city. I don't know what I don't know. See, about he don't that. even know nothing about you. You too young. Yeah. You too young, bro. I met that Almeida. Yeah, I oh, see. Yeah, you too young. Yeah. Them OGs gonna know watching yeah. they like they that nigga. E put one down. on him, man. <laughs> they said you speak oh, one on MLK. Man, that that nigga E put one on. Him. It's on MLK. Yeah. All I know, we riding around in the Thunderbird, nigga, with the with the house speakers in there, Sherwood Vegas, yeah. in, the, in the back seat, nigga. Just yeah. three niggas in the front trying to bang the trunk. Come nigga. on, man. We trying to bang the whole thing now. Yeah. <laughs> y'all just doing y'all and pulling up to the right skate ring. Yeah. Well, that was the park. But at the end of the day, just man, tell me about like, like, like what, what happened when Harvey hit? How did it affect? Did it even affect you? Well, see, I spent some years in Louisiana too. So you were gone? Yeah, I spent, I played, I played football at Grambling. You played for Grambling? Out of Worthing, yes, sir. That's funny. I just interviewed a nigga that was, uh, went to, he went to Grambling, but then he didn't get to go all the way. He was MC Hammer backup dancer. Oh, for real? Yeah, man, and that shit got real. He told me some stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, you wouldn't even know, boy. When that video interview come out, you're going to be like, damn. Shout out uh, Benito. Yeah, nah, Yeah, he nah. went to Grambling. Okay, nah. I y'all mean, y'all boys there. down there cutting up. You, nah, well, Grambling go down. You remember that game y'all played Prairie View in Dallas? Every game, yeah. Oh, yeah, every four years. You, you go it? every, Man, you go right. every. No, season. he was oh, no, playing. I was, no, I was playing. I was playing. Yeah, he was, was playing. Do you go watch them now? Ass. Do you, you love know, it? We, yeah, we was kicking ass back then. Under Whooping Grambling, them up. Grambling and PV, yeah. Do you go back and support and watch? I went last year. I went last year for my birthday. It was a, it was the same uh, day as homecoming. But I hadn't been in a while, though. But I went last year. I had, I had they still fun. good? Nah, we ain't doing too good right now. We ain't, <laughs> not. Yeah, we ain't doing too good. My era, we was all right though, but we ain't no, doing okay. too good right now. Well, I gotta ask you this: What it? Wh- okay, rap economics yeah. and trill talk, pill talk. Trill talk, talk, no, no pill, pill talk. talk. Yes, get um, it right, cause that nigga gonna be tripping. <laughs> yeah. How have they contributed to um, your growth in Texas? Man, they play a big part. They play a major part in my growth, like. For sure, like rap economics and trio talk, no pill talk. Uh, I was one of the early guests. I wasn't like at the beginning, mm-hmm. but you know, when I walked in there, I did my thing. And after I did my, I was already knowing Prez too. Though. I was seeing him move around. He worked with a lot of, he was working with a lot of my homeboys before okay. we actually got cool. But yeah, when we locked in though, know, like, like I tell them this all the time, they stuck with me, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, they stuck with me. They be promo, promoing for me. Trio talk, no pill talk, be promoing for me. He the one made me, uh, Put a date on my album. I was oh, jam- wow. I was listening to my music on live. So you got to stand by. Yeah, I, man. Them my boys, man. I rock with them. I need to get out there to East Texas, though. Move around out there. I got you hadn't been out there? Not since I've been Quiet Money died. I moved around out there. Just Quiet Money. But, mm-hmm. <laughs> but not since I've been Quiet Money died. What though. made you change your name to that? What, to... Uh, quiet Money Dot compared to this Quiet Money. Oh, no. I was saying I was moving around. Was, oh, quiet. Oh, yeah, got you, got yeah, you, Yeah, got yeah, yeah. It's got been you, my name, you. but... So, so ever since you got into the right because you know a lot of people always change, change, change in their, t- their names till they find one name that they stick to. Right. You've always been Quiet Money Dot from the moment you started rapping? I've always been K-Dot. 
K Dot and first. And it sound wild because I was K Dot before Kendrick Lamar. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, Quiet Money was just my clique, so I just put it all mm-hmm. together and dropped the K. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, that's my neighborhood nickname. Everybody called me K Dot. And um, I got a partner from Alabama. He couldn't get the K Dot right though. He country. And all he could say was Dot. I kind of stuck with that. People don't know that, but I just kind of stuck with that. Dropped the K. Okay, you mentioned Kendrick Lamar. What did you think about the beef that was going on with him and um, Drake? Drake, because Drake repped his Drake. Drake repped his. You know, he he got a lot of Houston stuff going on with oh, his own sure. movement. Yeah, man. yeah. yeah nah. And my daughter, she's she eighteen years old. She's all Kendrick. Yeah, I, I like Kendrick. I respect Kendrick Lamar music, and I like it. And uh, and he did his thing on the battle, mm. but I, I really just ain't no Kendrick Lamar fan like that. But he who, did his who thing. won the battle though? I think Kendrick won it over just straight being consistent and persistent on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Drake did his thing on here. If you ask me, he shine if you ask me. But yeah. I, I like Drake music, though. But he did his thing. It was cool. It was healthy for hip-hop. You know what I mean? I, I'm more of a Jada Kiss being a sequel type battle, though. I like mm. that battle and stuff like that. Because after that one, it's like I, I, I saw a lot of battles coming up back to back. It's like beefing became a thing. Right. You know, Rick Ross tried to jump into it, and then I saw a game go after Rick Ross, and I'm like, I'm waiting to see if Rick Ross come back at him. Right. I'm, I'm like, I've been seeing a lot of beefing going on. You know, when that beefing hot is hot. <laughs> that beef and hot, we had our we had our running Texas like that, man. That beef and hot is hot, and it, if it make money, shit, it makes sense. Does it help the rap game when I, they beef? I believe so. It, it ain't my like style. money yeah. wise for sure, yeah. Because you know people run the negativity. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You you scrolling down your phone, you you see a fight, you gonna stop. You see somebody helping an old person across the street, you gonna keep going. You know, yeah. so you know because everybody wanted to hear what they had to say, so that streaming went crazy. Right, it went stupid. I shit, I was up looking at that shit at <laughs> midnight, so I know everybody else was. That's crazy. Be for help, man. Um, well, you know, like I said, my biggest thing is, man, when you think about, like I said, a lot of the stuff that the music and the way it is today versus the way it was back then, the nineties that they compare you to, you like. Why, what do you think about the music, the the Houston sound, the now music versus back then? You know, you got a lot of guys up here from DJ Chose to uh, Beat King. They created different sounds right, than right, what right, you guys right. was really even, you know, Houston wasn't known for those sounds. Right. And when you seen them come through, what was your, what was your, how do you feel about it? Like, and, and how do you vibe with that compared to your music? Because it's a lot different. Oh, man, I love it though, man. Anybody who's making the city look good, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I, I listen to all kinds of music. That's just the type of music I, you know, prefer to mm-hmm. rap. But yeah, anybody, man, all of, even with the melodic music, man, I listen to all that shit. It jam. You know what I mean? It's just as far as me recording it, you know, I don't really know how to do it too well, but I just stick to stick to what I know. You know the what I'm Houston saying? Houston sound. Yeah, but everybody in the city, I love it, man. I love, I love Houston for real, though. Like, But since you saw Houston, and right now, the way how music going, everybody is doing like the Afro beats. Right. Would you ever include some Afro beats in your music and try to probably still keep it Houston? Oh, I, you know, if the opportunity come out here jamming Afro beat beat, hell yeah. Because I, I like that burner boy, that burner boy be jamming. See, man. yeah. Slow it up, it's uh-huh. really jamming. Yeah. <laughs> you could screw that down For real, real easy. That's why we did that branding. That boy was jamming. I damn sure jump on that beat. <laughs> that was hard. For real. What do you think when you see people like, uh, it's a lot of people that kind of, kind of try to migrate to this sound. I've heard him say it. People like Big Crit. Big Crit, one yeah. of the ones that I, when I pay attention to him, a lot of his style, a lot of his sound, a lot of way his wave go, uh, he he kind of leaned toward that Ace Town sound. What do you think about that? And and how do you feel about Big Crit? Oh, man, I like Big Crit. Big Crit, he more, he, he gonna mix all that Southern in together. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of that stuff, when, you, when it's paying homage, I respect it. You know what I mean? It's we 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 really drive the culture whether whether I said it hot or not, man. The double cups, the slowed up music, all the way up to New York, ASAP Rocket, man. You know what I'm saying? All this music gonna have a little a little Houston in there. It's people who youngsters right now who they do Houston stuff and probably don't know it. You know what I mean? Because it's come from we've been driving the culture so long. Not even just Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying? We've been driving we've been driving this hip hop boat so long, man. It's 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 natural to us. You know what I'm saying? So. People migrating to our sound is live. I'm just trying to make sure 
my city migrate to our sound. You know what I'm saying? But then when other cities migrate to your sound or your culture and doing stuff and not know where it come from, how does that make you feel though? Like you oh, go yeah, to them no. cities and be like, they it, it's almost like they make you feel like they the one started it when they don't really know where right, it is. Right, 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 right. Now that'll make me feel some type of way though. You gotta at least know where you're coming from with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But you seen the guy the other day, he said that me, screw music started in Miami. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's a you, lot you, of, did you see that? I seen that, but it's a lot of drugs out too. You gotta be on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be on drugs, baby. This is the city, man. You know, because I, I told somebody, I said, no, nah, man, Luke and them were throwing that, throw that dick. Yeah, they it was, they, they were speeding it up. No, they were speeding it up now. So I couldn't understand why he said that, but you know, I seen Sauce Walker step up and said something, but did you say something or you just said back? Oh, no, I just said back because I, I just knew something had to be wrong with bro. <laughs> yeah, we we from the city, man. That's... So uh, when you see this stuff, though, and you and you see guys like, and shout out to Sauce Walker, man, me and him, Big man, we talk. Sauce, like, like, how do you like when you see TSF and the way they move in like a whole, you, they move like a, you, like they a got unit. them a whole uh, uh, a deal going or nah, something. For sure. You I know, like them it. boys trying to figure out like, like how to maneuver in, in this algorithm of what we do today. You right. know what I'm saying? How do you feel to see uh, uh, Sauce, ooh, we getting down through there man, like that? I respect it, man. I respect it, man. I watch bro. Shoot out like 2015, man, and, and gave them people something different. People ain't know how to feel about it because it was so different. As opposed to now, you ain't got no choice but respect it. You know how he coming. He going to wreck something. He up there with the top lyrics. He calling boys out. You know what I'm saying? What, what y'all trying to do? I respect it to the max, though, man. Bro, no, got some ball shit going on over there. I got a couple of homeboys running with bro, no. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I, I love what they doing, man. That's yeah. hard, man. And, and, sure. and he like, he, he grabbing every side, too. For they sure. just, yeah, nah, he, he mix it all the way up, yeah, man. Texas thing. That's a, he, he another yeah, that's one. Texas that's why thing. the little young nigga got me. When he t- we, we rep so hard, Texas. when you repping like we repping, it, you, it gonna make y'all just kick it and click. He's you know the what first I'm saying? Person, like, I was seeing hollering at them Dallas artists. And, man, and, let's talk about that. The net, you know, because I ain't never seen you really just rocking with them like that yet. What's up? What's up? With, no, with Dallas. Oh shit! I love to go. I when you go to get that, you don't never leave, Houston, man. bro. Yeah, I just need to get up out the side. I'm, I'm with it, but it, you know, I was on the road with J Dow, man. We was touching all them little country towns, and it was going down, man. I love traveling. I just need to get up out of here and cut my phone off and just shoot to Dallas for a weekend or a week or something, man, and, and have some fun, man. Because I love Dallas. Wow. I love Dallas, well, man. we waiting on you to come up there. You know, I'm not really from Dallas, but I reside. My hub is in Dallas. Yeah. And when you come up there, you got to come up at my spot. Like my boy, uh, Prez and, and DJ, I let them niggas come up there, even yeah. though they were banning everybody from coming to their show. Yeah. Kind of like, everybody can't come everybody up there. Come I said, y'all there. come on up here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all come on up here. And, and and I brought them on. Did you see that episode when they was no, on there? For sure, yeah. Yeah, did they shout you out? They showed me some love. They yeah, did? Yeah, seen it. You didn't repost it? Damn. You better believe <laughs> I got. I put on my Instagram, y'all face right there on there, man. Yeah, I fuck with Boss Talk. So what you I'm think about Boss Talk, man? I'm a fan of the show, what, man. What made you know about Boss Talk? And, and, and what did you think about Boss Talk? Like, uh, man, what? I, I got hooked on them podcasts and shit, like during the pandemic. So mm-hmm. shit, that's all I watch is podcasts. I've been on game way before Prison Nightcap came on. I've been watching. I like y'all be tapped in on the LA culture and everything, man. Yeah, I, I it, it go down talk. up there, man. All I do is watch podcasts, though, man. Really? I'm full of that weed and watch podcasts. <laughs> So you only watch TV? Nah, hell nah. I watch podcasts, man. All day. Podcasts and videos and write music, man. All day. That's it. I write music. Wow, man. That's hard, too, man. That's why I keep dropping them, because I know you going to watch it. If ain't nobody going to watch it. got people like me going to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Repost and share my stuff, though. I got you, And get in the comments, nigga. Quit acting like a ghost (laughs) follower, nigga. (laughs) I got you, family, for real. (laughs) What? Okay. Man, so, so if you could go back, man, and really just... Go back and 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 really rescope anything that you did when you first started this music. What would it be if you had to re? You know, I'm gonna do this this way this time. Man, I think I would have started rapping a little earlier though. Okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? that's Sound one good. thing. I like right now, just this free game, youngsters. If y'all listening, man, and 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 like I say, not saying that I'm trying to rap like I'm from Houston, but if a 19 year old cat right now know his history and just embrace it and rap like it right now. He probably run the nation. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? How important it is to know the history. It's important. It's, it's, it's important to know where you came from. You know what I mean? Because I'm pretty sure, just like we was talking about them out of towners doing stuff that, that was probably 
started in Houston and not knowing it's, it's damn near you just as guilty if you're from the city mm -hmm. and don't know why you're doing something. Because some of these young kids don't care. No, nah, they don't care. Mm -mm. They don't care if youngsters don't give a damn. But stuff like that can help youngsters too because exactly. we players. Mm -hmm. We come from being players, you know what I'm saying? We a gangster cool, you know, and all that's cool, but we come from being players on my side of town, you know what I'm saying? So all that, all that, you feel me? Player being a player, in a, that's a non contact sport. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. Get the money. Yeah. Get the money. Yeah. Stay out the way. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, you know, one thing I can tell you, man, is, man, I don't think this 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 culture, the way this, the way y'all got this going down here, man, it can only get better. Uh who are the new young artists that's coming up down here? Down here. Show somebody some love. Oh, man. for sure. You know, I'm who I be jamming because yeah, I'm jamming the boys in the, in, the, in, the, in the trenches, man. Ooh, that's what I want to hear. Yeah, like, I like old Looney Wap, man, from Dead End, man. Uh, he from Dead End out of South Park. Um, and y'all already know the ones who jamming the, the Jeremy's and South oh, yeah, and the Wood yeah, Man yeah. and the Nejo click. Uh, but man, now there's some youngsters from the neighborhood that's jamming, man. My boy, Neighborhood Kills, he hard. Uh, used to be with UBK. He hard. He might still be with UBK, but he tough on that mic. Um, boy, Fast Money D, boy. He from Jailhouse. Him and his squad uh, over there on the south side. He be running with them boys out of Mag and Dwayne. Okay, okay. The road, them, them boys is hard. Um, man, I feel like you got me on the spot. <laughs> no, because they going to remember you. They going to say that nigga didn't nah, mention me, sure. and I know damn well I, I always yeah, bump his music. I feel like you tried to drop me on fire <laughs> on every question on here, but it's all good. You know? nah, and just my whole man. hood rap, too, man, while, I'm on, while I'm on here. Hood, Shout see? out Reed Road, man. All them youngsters in my hood hard, man. Lil Papa, Lil Flim, all y'all boys tough, man. If ain't nobody told you, I'm telling you, boys hard, man. Man, sure. I, I I love the way that y'all y'all like I said seem unified. Even though I know every city have their differences, man. Right. Um, when it look when you look at the way you got what made y'all culture the foundation, the way that everybody moved down here just so bonafide, like so you know seem seem like like you go a lot of niggas say, man, when you go to this city, it don't be like in Houston. When you go to Houston, it's this feeling I get. Man, shit, got to be that southern hospitality, man. And I know the whole South experience it, but we gonna. We're going to try to keep it player before we take it there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're going to try to as much as we can, especially, you know, the the older crowd or if you was taught right. I feel like I was taught right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My old heads. I used to see them old heads, old pug and them come down to candy and them swingers and, and, and go to the car wash and get washed up and, and ride down chunking up deuce to people they don't know. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't wait to do that shit. I ain't going to lie. Do you, you, <laughs> have you been over to Trillburg? Yeah. Okay, because last time I think I had a nigga on here, and I, I want to say it was Prez. He hadn't been over to Trillburg when he had came on last time. Yeah, he might have went over there. He wouldn't stop going. Yeah. <laughs> me and him were talking about that. I was like, man, this nigga won't stop going, man. Yeah, like, so hard. how many times you go over there? Trillburg are hard. Trillburg are hard. I done been a couple of times. You know what I'm the saying? I think I'm going to get over there. What time? They open tomorrow? What's today? Yeah, they yeah, open they tomorrow. Open it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there and grab me something, man. Cause my boy, I got one nigga to be over there. He won't leave. Like he, he, love, he, it. he love it. Like, huh? I, and to be honest with you, I don't need to be over there, man. I need to be at the gym, but it's all oh, good. Really, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going man. though. You gotta live a little bit. You gotta live a little bit, baby. Just a little bit. Yourself. Just a little bit. A lot, nigga. You right, you're right. You right about it. So the syrup, the cup, the all this stuff, man. Like what? I need my starter pack, nigga. I'm here. <laughs> you know what I'm like, like, like what we gonna do? Nah, nigga? Like, sure. like nigga, I need my cup. I bought my my, my boss talk yeah, cup. We boss double talk cup up, yeah. and then what I do? You, I, got, you gotta you be gonna riding, let me ride with you know you can ride you got with the, I'm gonna jump in the car. I got the Seville at the highs, man. The swingers, and, and, and all I wanna do is ride. And I wanna buy Burger Park. Or yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying, get you a slushy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, if that don't feel you, we can stop by the Chan over there, Timmy Chan. But that's real. I heard about Timmy Chan. I heard Timmy Chan is really. Y'all need to come on. I've never been Y'all come down here and y'all come, come, come down here and, and live elegant. Y'all need to come, <laughs> come tap in, baby. Come oh, tap man. In, man. I ain't going to disclose no, the location. No, I love, I love to come, I love to come and, and, and really rock out. Because I, like I said last week, we fully, I was in Marshall Project with D Haven. So okay. I'm the type of nigga, if I go there, you know yeah, what yeah, I do. Nah, nigga. you with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you with it. I mean, if I'm in Vegas, I'm on the west side. Yeah. Nigga. If I'm in Chicago, I'm with, I'm with one of them people, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a game. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Say this. Man, so so I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm going to rock out with you. I, if we don't do it this time, I'm going to jump in the car with this nigga. You remember, we who that? That person I jumped in the car with would be high, wouldn't it? 
Mm-hmm. Down no, in Atlanta. But Marcy Projects was the last oh, one. Oh, yeah, that was with the A. Jumped jumped the car, was, I jumped in the, the car, nigga. Don't right get it. Right. What? Y'all yeah, lucky it ain't crazy, the weekend. Nigga, I, I jump in the, the car. On, car. You know what I'm talking about? I'm a club tour, man. I I'm would jump in that damn car, boy. For real. I ain't gonna play with y'all. Y'all think it's a game. Boy, boy don't, 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 don't make me do it, nigga. Man, shit, Give me the down. cup and, and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tripping. We can rock. We can so, rock, man. So uh, when, you, on a, uh, when you looked at the first time you, you seen certain niggas, man, because it's been a lot of situations. I mean, I'm not going to talk about nothing that, that happened that was crazy, crazy, but it's a lot, a lot of crime when it comes down to the inner city, not just in Houston, but all these cities, yeah. man. You know, do you see it getting better or worse, man, like when it comes down to our kids and like how are we motivating the kids? Is there any song that you've done that did something for our kids, bro? Well, see, man. My, see, I'm serious about that, bro. Nah, for sure. Hey, and I'm serious too, man. Like I um, I got an older homeboy named Rock, man, and he in the South Side. He work with the community. You know, he from the North Side, but he work in the South Side. He own a barbershop up there. And now I'm, I'm dead serious about that too, man, because I, I feel like like, you know, I played ball going to school and shit like that, but my all my partners was a beast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the sports, you know what I mean? And and I'm trying to get with him. With now, I said the song, because when you think of Trick Daddy when he did that, I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah. You know, the, all them kids was on the videos and stuff. Where that set no See, more? Now, I don't Where got the hell that, is that set, bro? I don't got that yet, but I am promoting playerism. But though, you see man. what I'm, I'm saying? Promoting playerism. Though. You we can do it, that. though. You, I'm, I'm, putting it, do it. I'm putting it out there in the air. Can you can do, do it, man. Get the kids, though. man. Let people know. Because we ain't got to be so hard to where the kids can't see no way to right, where they right, come right, in the right, scenario. Because right, right. that's false if you really try to just make everything look a certain way and you don't invite include the kids. No, facts. And we ain't seeing a a lot of people, including the kids, I'm no more. If y'all really block, think about it, have I'm you seen some black it? parties up this summer too, though, man? Got to get them kids out there. But have you seen like, like, do you see that in the music like we Not used really. to? It, it, it's slim to none, ain't it's it? Slim to none. You know who did it? Yeah, I think it was uh, it had to be J Cole, yeah, J. man. Cole, but you know, once he slid back from the beef, niggas yeah. kind of looked at him yeah, funny. Yeah, they were when that nigga said he don't want to do the song no more. He like Trey got out the car on Boys in the yeah. Hood. How did, what'd you think about that too? I like feel that? like that too. He stole off and got out the way because he he, he punched <laughs> on that ass. He punched on that ass before he did it. He punched <laughs> on him and apologized. He stole, yeah. he stole he off. Stole off on him. I got didn't think of that way, boy. You crazy. Yeah, nah, he still got his tripping. off. He got his off though. Then he then he some chill out, y'all. Y'all chill out. You know, I didn't des- I didn't describe it like you just did. Yeah. I described it like, you know, took, like uh like Trey. Like Trey. Yeah. When he was punching at the arrow. On the Friday movie, yeah, and I'm sick. You feel like he did some weak shit. shit. Yeah. Then after that, he he got him some. Yeah, it was cool. And then he got in the car. And then he got out the car when he was with you know Doe when his brother right, got right, shot. Right. So there's a lot of stuff going. Once you get out the car, it's tough, man, because it's a battlefield out nah, here for sure. But I get what you're saying too. I love your scenario yeah. a little more. <laughs> He stole off on him. He stole off on him. Man, I love J Cole to be honest Me with too. you. He got some dope music, man. Do you think that'll affect his career? Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, man. Somebody say they seen J. Cole after that sitting down on the concrete somewhere. Man, that man getting money. Ain't nobody worried about that. That stuff we worry about. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that man ain't worried about that. That's ain't tripping. As long as he rapping his ass off, he all right. Yeah. yeah. You be watching that boxing? I watch a little boxing. Who you got? You know, I, I was a big, I'm still a big Devin Haney fan, even though, you know, he was a little, you know, they say that boy was on dope, all kind of stuff, but Ryan, Ryan been in the game a long time, man. Ryan look like he ain't playing with people, man. I don't man, know. I don't know. They say he finna get in there with Earl. Who, what you think? I'm Earl gonna, gonna do better than what I'm he did last with, time. He gotta do better, but I'm going with the state, baby. You know what I'm saying? Got to go with the I'm state. I'm going with the state, for real. Yeah, I'm, I'm for sure taking Earl. Yeah, no matter, no matter what. No matter what. So, no matter where so, we get them drug tests in order. <laughs> but that look like a, it's just a straight up ass with me. Yeah, yeah I know. know it was. It, I don't think I would have fought him though because he was three pounds over. I'd have shut that down. Cause it's, he, had the, he had a right here at the right. He, he was three. Yeah, he could have stopped that. Oh, you didn't have to fight that fight. When you come in too hot, you can't. You can't just. He didn't get the belt because he was three pounds over. Yeah. He knew that it was a. It was a mind game, man. Yeah. It was. It was nothing to play with. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. So you know them Charlo boys down here, ain't they? Yeah. So y'all, do you ever see them like in this inner city? Man, not too much. Me, period. And now I'm gonna tell y'all why, man. And my people be getting on me about it. I'm really just like a, 
I'm I'm a hole in the wall type of dude, man. I ain't at the livest clubs in the city, man. You ain't I'm, going. I'm on the side. I like to go where I'm celebrated, not tolerated, man. Yeah, I yeah, ain't yeah. trying to compete. I'm just I'm gonna go where they roll that old carpet out for me and walk in and the the, the bartender already know my drink, the DJ already know my song. Ain't nothing wrong with but that. They saying I need to expand, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just I'm just little. As long as you I do love. it in the right way, you don't want to do it and it be some disrespect. Right, right, you know, right, like right, you want right. people to honor you, man, because right. at the end of the day, a lot of people don't really uh I say it, they don't celebrate themselves enough right, when right. it come down to their movement. Nah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta enjoy where you at. There you go. So you know I, I get you. If it's work, I'm now. Yeah. But if it's just me wanting to have my fun, I'm gonna go where I know my people at and I'm safe. You know what I'm saying? It's just me though. No, no, I think you're 100% right, man. Yeah. So, you know, um, love what you do, man. I hope we we did you justice over here at Boss Talk 101, man, where the bosses talk. Like, um, like I said, you one of them guys that I seen on Prez, you know what I mean, show, DJ Nightcap, and I always trill talk, no pill talk, because that's my homie, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's a guy that I really, you know what I'm saying, been knowing a, a lot, most of his life, you know? Real so, one, so and, and then you got, like I said, Prez and Nightcap, they pulled up on me. They came to Dallas, you For know? Sure. They ain't like you. I, they told me I was going to have to interview you in the hood. <laughs> I'm, I, and I came to Houston this time looking for you and South Park Shouty. Yeah, oh, for real. That's who I'm looking for. <laughs> if I can find you South Park Shouty. You can catch up while we riding. If you ride, you ride. And I'm going to put these mics on me. You going to mic up. Nah, for sure. And I just want to go holler at her, man. If you can take me to her, I might jump in that car tomorrow morning and try to find her because she probably going to go by that corner store. She yeah, got you to come through. Yeah. You know, she got to come through, she man. Okay, Running man. things, you man. Know she you be seeing her in the city? Oh, hell yeah. I got to go see her, man. She don't ever cut up on you? Nah, nah. She, she don't, don't be cutting up like she that, don't do she? She don't be cutting up, nah. I mean, she just do her, but when the camera on. She gonna cut she up. She gonna catch her doing her. She cut up here, you know what I'm saying? That's so what I, man, she remind me I ain't it, man. Yeah. You know but nah, man, I gotta go see her, though, for sure. I gotta see her, because I love to cut up. I love, yeah. that's what, I, I live for that, bro. Nah, for real. I live for that. I ain't just her. If I was in this city, I'm finding everybody that do it like that. Yeah. And I'm gonna go and act a fool. It don't have to be no cameras or nothing. You know, I'm gonna nah, give her money, sure. and I'm gonna hang out, and I'm gonna have a good time. And laugh nah, and talk and cut up. Y'all cool people for the camera cut <laughs> on. For the camera cut on, bro was like, nigga, I was like, okay. <laughs> that's like, how I am, man. I mean, that's loud. It, 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 that's why it, you, I, I tell you something when we get off the camera. Yeah. It's, a, it's one dude I had to I had to really feel him out before I let that nigga talk to me. Yeah. And I have to check niggas sometimes. They be trying to get next to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they be trying to figure out ways. I don't know what they got going, you know nah, what I'm saying? Real, and they may be from West Texas, Amarillo somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But no. Come on, man. So man, where you so so you say you pulling swim. you pulling the you coming to Dallas, you going to East Texas, all the, you and Carlos Miller say the same okay, go on and I'm tell sure. me. I'm, yeah, no, you I'm going to you going to East Texas. East Texas, West Texas. When? Our cousins Nigga, in I'm gonna put you on blast. You playing. Our cousins in Louisiana. Okay, man. all right, he playing you know with me. Why the next show when I keep every show I'm gonna be like, say man, quiet money dot lie. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen this nigga man, in a I'm year. Up. You know what I'm saying? It's been a whole year. Where this nigga at? You know what I'm saying? You that's gonna one thing about my Bob, my word, man. You gonna I'm, pull up? I'm pulling up. That's what I believe you, man. Real, I can't I'm wait, bro. Sure. You come on the show, man. We're gonna come down there and kick it. We're gonna put we're gonna get us a freestyle out you and everything when you come I'm on the it. set. I'm you know it, what man. I'm saying? Cause we gotta this gonna be a part two of this, man. I'm, I'm rocking with you now. It's up now. From here, once you get in, it's over. It's, I'm gonna be worse than them niggas. I'm gonna be calling. Cause I know when I cut when I, I'm gonna come to Houston yeah. quarterly, maybe because it's so close. I'm trying to give me a spot down here too. So I can always shoot down here too and you know, you guys can get the love y'all deserve. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie, Houston, New Orleans, um, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, they embrace the hell out this show, bro. Yeah. LA, of course y'all know that. It's certain people that they man, I gotta be there. Florida mad at me. Shout out to Miami, I gotta get down there. I wanna apologize to y'all. I'm coming. I just been Houston a little bit closer now. Y'all don't go to tripping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But man, listen, man. What's the brand, man? What's the t-shirt brand? Man, what's the clothing Clyde brand? Money family, we got some merch. Yeah, dropping nigga, this don't try week, to get man. out here without telling us yeah, what the brand. We got the merch dropping this week. Shout out to the whole Quiet Money family. Where my t-shirt at, nigga? You ain't coming here t-shirtless, did we you? We gonna be ready by Thursday. Give me your PO <laughs> box, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We independent now, so we got to get stuff. Yeah, baby. that's the same thing as dropping them tapes off. Yeah, you better believe it. Yeah, no, for sure. I promise. I got you Thursday. We they dropping Thursday. We, I'm having a big I don't know when it's gonna drop but I'm having a big listening party Thursday in the hood Okay. I usually do it private you know what I'm saying with me and my homeboys but we've been going up so much lately I'm inviting the whole hood we right down on Cullen Boulevard man we going up 
We are celebrating the album. Dr. Doc come out May 24th, that's Saturday. I got a show with um, Elevator Smoke over with AJ Snow coming out of uh, LA. I don't think he originally from LA, but mm-hmm. got a big market in LA. Gonna do the show with him, then you know, we're going to the Red Rooster after that. It's and where can everybody find minute. you if they're looking for you on social media? What's your social media handle? Dot underscore quiet money on everything. DLT I'm trying to figure out who I forgot money. on the South Side who we interviewed. Southwood winning. Yeah, my boy. Southwood winning. Nigga, I just peeled, you know, we who is anybody else? I don't want to forget nobody. I know Southwood winning, though. He from over there. Yeah, I was rocking with him last night. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. yeah last y'all last niggas night. got drunk then. I got a little tipsy. A little there. tipsy. You know, I was leaning. Nah, he was leaning, so he was good. You know what I'm saying? When you think about DJ Screw, man, we got to ask you this, man, because you keep saying leaning, because I feel like he was one of them, you know, he he one of the main, got the main substance to this thing. When, when you think about him and what, what he represented in this city, what what do you think? I feel like he, <laughs> he is this city. Like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whether, whether it's music, just the culture, period. You know what I mean? Not just him, everybody who who came with him, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, after with with Jay Prince on the north and Screw on the south, it's like this city just full of culture, man. Full of culture, but that screw the screw changed my life. It changed your life? Yeah, man. It created quiet money dot before it was I had a chance to create quiet money dot. Man, Quiet Money Dot, will you, well, I'm going to tell you something. We enjoyed you, bro. You one of the dope ones out here. You the first official interview since we got to Houston today. H-Town, Mayor, stand Mayor. up. Quiet Money Dot then did a Boss Talk 101. A hell of a situation here. Interview on Pinnacle. Y'all niggas don't know about this nigga. I talk big talk. Right, you know what I'm saying? Man, like I said, I, I, I can't wait you come to the D. You know, holla at me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and if I'm back in uh, down here, you're going to have to ride with me down here, too. Yeah. I like to do something and ride with you, though, for real. Because, like I said, when I got more time, I really want to hit the city like like with somebody who's sure. here and blog it so that they can see just how you get down. Man, because my sure. show need that. You know Man, what I'm saying? I'm, you're welcome, bro. Anytime. Call me a day or two before. And we're going to get to it. Set it up. I watch the lack. We riding. We riding. What, what model is it? 86 Seville. <laughs> That, see, I had that 84 Broham. Yeah, that's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I had that 84 Broham. And then I had that Baby Lag. Big that. car, that's why yeah, I said that. I had the Baby one. Lag, too, though. The 86, I, had the, I got Baby. Little, yeah. It's a little yeah, I know, because I had the 89. Yeah. I had the 89 with the half top with the 4100 yes, in it. Yes, sir, that's what say, I got. Say, man, I'm not, don't play Come with on, me, man. man. I'm a grown that's man, what man. I got, baby. That's what, you got the 4100? Yeah, I had the 4100 in I got to treat it like a lag, You got to treat it like you got to maintenance that thing. I had it, bro. I cut the back out, though. You did yours a coupe. Or, or, or. It's a fall though. It's See, I had a coupe, so I cut the back speakers out. Them eighteen yeah. in the trunk. I cut that whole back out right there. That metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and boom. Get that airflow in that. How we hidden, dog? Come on, that man. whole trunk was. It was yeah. it was a situation. What you got on the end of that thing? Man, I got three twelves in that right now, and uh, I just re- I'm working on them insides. I got them highs. I got some six and a half. Uh, What's the name of the DSAT? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nah, we doing something. Already, man. Yeah, we doing something. Check it, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you guys watch. Thank you for coming on the show, man. We love you, bro. I appreciate y'all. We love you, bro. And listen, man. Hey, man, you guys, make sure you watch this clip coming up, man. Quiet Money Dodgers broke down the whole Houston scene, everything that goes down over here, man. So listen, I'm in H-Town. If you want to see the next clip, man, you got to hit this right here. It's right here. It's right here, I can promise you. It might be right here, though. I don't know. It's one of these places, though. Get, make sure you clip to that next scene. That's going to be my boy, Quiet Money Doc, getting to it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.